My name is David Bush. I've been working for over 40 years in the film industry in visual effects and post-production. Together with Mike Connor, with whom I've worked for as many years, we have been researching 8K in particular this last couple of years. 8K is already fast becoming the new benchmark for cameras and ever higher resolution post capabilities. Japan, South Korea and much of Southeast Asia have already confirmed their decisions to broadcast bright high dynamic range 8K to the home. So why shoot in 8K or even higher resolutions, especially knowing that we're talking about four times the resolution of 4K? 8K and beyond are proving themselves in post-production and visual effects as the higher resolutions offer greater selectivity for compositing blue and green screens, stabilization, color grading, and in general, a higher quality overall result. Also using the technique of oversampling or shooting in a higher resolution than the required delivery for the project, it offers excellent quality with less noise. Yes, but isn't producing and post-producing in higher resolutions more expensive? Well, it used to be, but not anymore, as key manufacturers offer more digital cameras in 8K with ever higher specifications at ever lower prices, and post-production benefits from faster processors, graphics cards, cheaper storage, etc., with all for much less. Uniting my post-production experiences with Mike's cinematography and stimulated by the fast-changing scenario, we have tested many of the new cameras, looked at others' tests too, and researched post-workflows. And this is an important factor that led Mike and me to design a lab, both because we needed one to process all the different image tests, and also because we both knew the importance of seeing the results in our work immediately. Well, in 2019, a film on Sheikh Maktoum's life story where Mike was director of photography, gave us the opportunity to design with Ahmed Kamel the necessary workflow for shooting in 8K with the red Mostro and 5K with the red Gemini. We set up a room in a Dubai hotel where we were able to show graded, edited dailies in the final resolution as the shot material came in. Building on this and many years of post-production experience, we configured a practical technical solution using the new Apple computers, Blackmagic design control panels, Resolve software, and we put all of the pieces into flight cases. We call it the 8K, 12K mobile digital lab. This lab represents a new and innovative approach to audiovisuals offering as it does the opportunity of working in the final deliverable quality of images and sound from the very first day of shooting. The mobile lab offers 8K online editing, color grading, visual effects, post-production of both sound and images, as well as the backup of the original shooting. It offers high-level creative, production and quality control for each project, enabling director, producer and heads of department to see and interact with their work as it develops before their eyes in the quality it will have for the end product. Being able to interact during production is a useful feature that both myself and Mike have worked towards over the years. As a visual effects supervisor, I had to do much of my work feeling as if I was blindfolded. We used to shoot elements that would later be composited in a post-production facility many months after the end of shooting. Now with the mobile lab, visual effects may be shot and evaluated quickly. The lab we developed has offered Mike and I continuous experimental opportunities in research and development, with, for example, the capacity to test many different digital cameras, their workflows, and especially the results we can get from grading them. A lot of our work is pre-testing cameras and seeing what we can get out of them. We have upraised the various lower resolutions to display them in this 8K master. Here are some examples using the 4K DJI drone. The company is also now manufacturing a new 8K camera. With the 6K Blackmagic camera, we've shot 
Many night scenes, such as this view of Chelsea Bridge on the River Thames, often using its 3,200 ISO capability. With the same camera, here are some day scenes shot in London's underground at 800 ISO. We were interested to see what Auto Robotics EVO 2 8K drone could achieve and how it adapted to colour grading and post. The promising new Kinefinity Nova 8K camera showed us some very interesting shots, with this one in particular shot in 8K as oversampled 4K with natural light at night, and using the high ISO capability of the camera. Our research has also led us to see how, for example, in the Blackmagic Ursa Pro, shots in 4K, 8K and 12K compare. The resolution differences would be very apparent on an 8K large screen display, but for those watching this short documentary on an HD monitor or similar, we have zoomed in by 200% on the same three shots, lightening the grade at the same time to show more of the detail in the, in the different resolutions. Interestingly, this daytime shot of ferries in the English Channel surprised Mike a lot because he couldn't even see by naked eye when he was shooting the distant French coast. And yet there it was in the original Blackmagic raw file. Somehow the 12K camera shooting at 8K had picked it up and I was able to grade it into being visible. However, in truth, I did use the haze filter, which is a feature of Resolve. With these new high resolutions, the amount of detail that we can get out of a scene is also quite surprising. This shot of the Harbour Patrol going into Dover Harbour is quite amazing when you look at the incredible amount of detail in it, both in the foreground, the middle and the background. Our aim is to make high quality 8K and 12K productions as cost effective as possible. And to do this we use a disciplined approach to shooting editing circled takes for example, using lossless compression to reduce the overall quantity of data, and in general applying our experience in both production and post. For all the post productions that we can do without the many different transcoded copies that are usually necessary to accommodate all of those who wish to use a multitude of different editing systems, different grading systems, this setup in my London flat is a small part of the mobile lab, the part I usually work on for editing and colour grading. I spoke to uh, facility manager Paula Cricard of Nuboyana, a London-based post-production facility, to ask her what she thinks of Resolve as well. My name is Paula Cricard and I am the head of post-production for Nuboyana Studios UK. The reason that we chose DaVinci Resolve, which is a Blackmagic design software, is because it's accessible for young talent. Young talent can um, learn how to use it. It's free, it's downloadable. And when you are putting together a team of people to do the post-production on your film, one of the most important things is the ability of those people to use the software. So other softwares that are available tend to have quite expensive subscriptions. This means that the training and the use of that software is limited to a few people who can afford to do that. Whereas by making, by Blackmagic making their software accessible to everyone and making it free, there's a lot more talent pool to choose from in that software. And that, for me, that's one of the key reasons to choose Blackmagic. 
it's an excellent system it's got great color uh, pipelines and color management it um, covers the whole task from capturing dailies through to delivery and everything in between.